Oh my goodness, you guys. It's been a morning. It has been a morning and a half. I did not intend on filming this video at all. Um, also, hi guys, welcome back to the pig room or welcome to the pig room if you are new here. I'm like all flustered. Some unfortunate news um, I have to tell you guys. Vision had to be splitted from the herd as you can see by these dividers right here. Some things went down, um, so I just wanted to give you guys a rundown as to why this didn't work. Obviously everything really went well with the bonding, as you guys could have saw in my second to last video. Vision was doing really, really well with all of the pigs. I felt like no one was giving him that many troubles. Um, the only one that was kind of more so picking on him more than the others was Caroline, which I did call, you know, she is the queen of the cage, the most dominant one. And I mean, she's always been that way her entire life. And even when I did introduce her to Teddy, Kyle, and Eris, the trio at the time, she, she put up a fight. She did about three or four launches with Kyle and Teddy. After that, it was like, they were good. They were totally fine. Um, not saying that she has the best relationship with them to this day. She doesn't try to hurt them. She will just do a little bit of rumble shutting around them when she's annoyed with them and then go about her day. So I honestly expected that to be probably the pattern that I would have seen um, once I moved them all into the new cage, the herd plus vision. Things uh, were actually pretty good for the first couple hours. Everyone was enjoying themselves, exploring the cage, checking all the new things out, running around the space, popcorning. Everyone was really good. And it wasn't until a couple hours after when I had noticed that Caroline was getting a little bit more aggressive with Vision. Um, it was almost seeming like she was not happy that he was in her space. Now I obviously sanitized and neutralized the entire area. I did a whole, you know, cage extension. Um, so it was semi new to them with the space. I took all precautionary measure in making sure that there was no scent of the girls on their cage before I moved Vision in. As those hours progressed on, um, it went from like chasing to little nipping on the butts to kicking him out of certain places in the cage to teeth chattering. And then it worked its way up to launches without teeth teeth and then a launch with teeth and Vision actually ended up getting a cut from Caroline um, on his lip. I'm not sure if I could actually call it a cut. It was more of like a scrape. It wasn't actively bleeding, but it was definitely red. And I definitely could tell that he was semi in pain. He was kind of like twitching when he was trying to sleep. So I gave him some meloxicam for his pain and that seemed to really do the job. So I thought to myself, I said, okay, you know, I do know that this is probably very new for Caroline. She's not used to having males in the cage. So I'm going to obviously keep them together and just monitor them with a close eye. And I literally did not sleep <laughs> that night. I was checking my phone constantly on the security camera, like literally every single hour, just making sure everyone was fine. And they were, um, everyone was everyone was pretty good. So I woke up the next morning and everything, you know, seemed to be fine. There was no cuts. There was nothing that I could have seen that could have given me the sign that Vision and Caroline attacked each other and got into a fight. But I did notice when I was topping up hay and handing out pellets that they were still going about their normal, aggressive routine with chasing each other. Caroline was is definitely the instigator. Um, Vision's actually pretty scared of her. He will run away and try to just dodge all bullets that she throws at him. Um, and she just, she just will do anything in her power just to like get to him. So I thought to myself, why don't I try doing a buddy bath? So I did the buddy bath. They were actually pretty well behaved. Um, when they first initially went into the, uh, the sink, um, there was some teeth chattering, but instantly when the water started going on them, that's when they sort of calmed down. They were like, all right, we're in this together. Let's go through this traumatic experience together and just you know, wait it out with each other. So they didn't attack each other in the tub. I dried them off together, like super close with each other. They were both grooming themselves. Like it was just, they look like two normal pigs that love each other. And then I got them into the cage um, and right off the bat, there was teeth chattering, there was rumble strutting. It was as if I never even did the body bath. So um, I just watched them for about 10 to 20 minutes and that's when everything took a hard left turn. Vision had launched at Caroline and ended up giving her a not very pretty cut on her lip. It was bleeding pretty badly. Um, it was obviously an active wound. And obviously when it comes to newly bonded pigs, um, if there is blood drawn, you gotta remove them. Um, it's obviously a sign that they're not getting along, they're trying to hurt each other, and they're not going to work in harmony in a cage. So um, I had to make the hard decision to go ahead and split them up. And it sucks because I had such hope through this entire process with bonding them, moving them into the cage, and I was obviously just very excited to give 
all of the pigs um, more room and just more friends. And it's unfortunate because, you know, I, I mean, I did mention this in my last video, my last, my second to last video with the bonding, that you can never plan for things to go the way that you want to. It's obviously up to the pigs to decide, you know, how they feel about a certain pig. And there's nothing that you can do as an owner to make that process easier or to have them accept that pig. It's really just truly really up to them. So Caroline, I guess by nature, is just one of those pigs that is very hard to get along with. Um, she is very cold. <laughs> She's um, obviously good with the friends that she has, Teddy, Kyle, Eris, and Wanda, but I think introducing her to more pigs is just something that she's not fond of. She doesn't like that idea, and I worry for the health and safety of the pigs that would be put in that situation. Um, so I've made uh, the decision to keep them split up. Obviously, Vision's going to be living in his own cage, and then Caroline's just going to continue to live with the herd. Now, I will say um, the only thing about this unfortunate event um, that's, I guess, kind of good or something that worked out is the fact that the herd was able to keep their original cage, a three by nine, and Vision actually got an upgrade by three square feet. So he's living in a three by four now. So he has obviously plenty of room for him to live his single life right now and they do too so i can't say you know i'm super mad at the situation because it would have been very unfortunate if like i did this whole cage renovation they split up and i had nowhere to put him but luckily you know things worked out the way they did and i can keep this as is so this is not changing the cage is staying the same i'm actually very happy with it and the look of it so it works out better for me having him moved up to here but that leaves me with obviously what is there to do? Obviously you can see um, he's not very happy. He's trying to actually get to the girls. And it's very unfortunate too because he actually got along really, really well with Wanda. And I love the fact that they got along so well. And he also got along with Eris, Teddy, and Kyle like as if he's been with them his entire life. He was really, really nice to them and they were nice to him. It was this girl over here, Caroline, who was just not having it. Now someone out there may be thinking like, why don't I just pair Wanda with him. And although that could be an option and something that could work, Wanda has been with these ladies her entire life, basically ever since she was a couple months old. And she's been with Caroline ever since she was three weeks old. And Caroline basically almost like raised her. So to split her up from her friends that she's been with her entire life, basically her family, I think she would take that really hard. You know, I don't think any of us want to be separated from our family and thrown into a whole different situation with someone we don't necessarily know. And I think that could definitely have an effect on the pig that she is and her personality and also her happiness and her happiness always comes first so no one's going to be living with vision from this herd but i will say i do have two other plans and i'm obviously thinking about this really in depth and trying to figure out what will work best um, but i think i have a feeling what will so with me knowing that vision worked out really really well with these ladies i know that he can work with girls so that is a really great sign he wasn't aggressive he was honestly just really curious and a nice guy throughout the entire process so what I could potentially do is to then try to bond the vision with Lennon and Willow. Now, I'm not as concerned with bonding vision with them. Um, Lennon is very dominant, even with Willow. Um, I think just naturally having two pigs in a cage, there's got to be one dominant pig, you know? So she has actually tried to been bonded with my trio in the past. So with Kyle, Teddy, and I'm unsure where Eris is. I think she's probably in here. And that had actually not worked out. There was so many launches, like they were literally flying in the air. So she was very dominant throughout the process, but it's been some time and I think maybe there's some potential change in her. Maybe her being paired with a male will be better. So what I think I'm going to do is trying to bond Vision with Lennon and Willow and seeing how that plays out. If that doesn't work, we will stay as is. Vision will live by himself. Lennon and Willow will stay by themselves and the herd will stay as is. Because Caroline is super old, um, she is a little over six years old. She doesn't have much life in her compared to the rest of the pigs. So I think, oh, my poor baby. You guys can actually see his cut too, right on his lip. I'm so sorry, buddy. But because she doesn't have as much life as compared to the other ladies, I think what the best bet, if he doesn't work out with them, is to wait until she passes, and then I can go ahead and bond vision with all of them, considering the fact that he got along with all of them so well. And then I can go ahead and get Winston neutered, and then he can try to be bonded with Lennon and Willow. And basically we can just keep vision with them, and then Winston with Lennon and Willow can do like a little cage extension, move Ashton over here. So just when I thought it was the end of cage renovations, it's definitely not. <laughs> There's always things to be done. This is what he's doing all the time because he wants to be the lady so bad, but I'm sorry, bud. You don't get along with Caroline. Well, Caroline doesn't get along with you. 
I'm sorry, bud. I did actually have someone tell me that they thought I was postponing Winston's neuter, which couldn't be further from the actual truth because I need to focus on one pick at a time. I have to figure out where Vision is going. And with this now happening, this totally changes the dynamic of everything. So no, I am not delaying, postponing, and not doing Winston's neuter. It's going to happen. Um, it's going to happen in time. At the same time with taking care of 16 guinea pigs, um, also running a full-time business and things in between. Lots of projects that are taking up my time, energy, money, and effort. So to just think that I'm postponing something and especially something that's such a big deal that takes a lot of work and monitoring, um, it's not fair to me to be told that because I've got a lot going on to add something else to my plate um, that I don't necessarily have to at this given moment. Um, I think that's fair for me to do. So for those of you who are curious, um, he will be getting neutered. I promise you guys we are going to find him a friend. He definitely needs a friend. He's a crazy pig um, and I don't think bonding him with the herd with Caroline is going to play out any better than what this has. Um, it would probably be worse because Winston's just probably twice as crazy as Vision. He really is. He's a crazy boy, um, but I definitely think he needs friends. So we're going to find him some. It's unfortunate, guys. It's unfortunate that this was something that had to happen. I was so excited to just like have him have friends and stuff like that. But again, you really can't plan for this and it just is what it is. Um, but thank you guys for being with me during this process and just sticking through it with me. And I hope you guys um, are excited for what's to come in the pig room and what's next. You know, hopefully he works out better with Lennon and Willow. Fortunately, you know, Caroline has lived a very long life and hopefully she still does. But when her time comes, I think we'll go ahead and end up um, bonding either Vision or Winston, given whatever works out first um, to the herd. And then we'll have our, our cage filled up with piggies with no divider. These are definitely some complex pets for sure. They are not easy, which is why I will always say that these are not kids pets and they especially are not beginner pets. It's important to do your research. It's important to know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, they are some complex, exotic creatures, and I feel like people tend to either underestimate that or totally just forget that. Um, they're just not these easy, <laughs> cute, furry animals. They are harder, in my opinion, than a dog. And I can confidently say that because taking care of Mikey is 10 times easier than these little boogers. They come with, they come with health issues. They come with difficult personalities. They come with so much stuff involved where you have to constantly show up for them and make sure you're keeping a close eye on them for cases like this. So I just wanted to show you guys the pigs one last time, but as you can see, they're all in peace. They got their hay, they're munching down immediately since separating vision from there. I can notice everyone is just, everyone's back to their normal selves. Teddy and Kyle were so anxious with having Vision in the cage, not because he was causing issues, but because they saw him and Caroline fighting. She's probably gonna move that hay rack because she loves doing that. <laughs> really, Kyle? Oh my God. It's the one thing that I don't like about these hay racks is that they just do that. Vision. <laughs> But yeah, I can kind of see that the girls have restored back to their natural personalities and back to themselves. So that's really good to see. As always guys, you know, I'm always putting my pigs first. I'm always looking after them and making sure I'm doing what's best. And as you guys also know, I'm always making sure that my pigs are happy, safe, and healthy. And by obviously removing vision from the herd, that's me sticking to my slogan and what I always say and also what I believe in. So this is not only for the benefit of them, but also for him. So right now I am taking some product photos for my launch on Sunday, having a full on squish tunnel restock and also new launch for some new patterns like this. And also my favorite one, this one right here. I'll show you guys in detail very soon. When it comes to product photos, you do not need a super professional setup. You do need some equipment, but like nothing too expensive. So I'm currently in my family room right now. Excuse all the messiness, that is it. Um, but I had to actually move my coffee table and put it against here, my fireplace. And then I just got four white poster boards from the dollar store, which is actually considered to be a $1.25 store now. So it was about $5 for these. And then I just have it clamped onto my fireplace with a C clamp. And then I'm just using this as a background for the products. I've got my camera right here. And then I've also got a wireless flash just because the lighting in here is not great. And it just helps to give the photos a more professional feel, which I really like. Um, but I just have my wireless adapter right on top of my camera so it can actually connect to this right here and fire off. So if I click this, 
that'll go off like that. So here are going to be the patterns that I'm offering. I've actually sold this pattern in bunk bed pads and also pee pads, but I decided to make it into a squish tunnel version. So here is the yellow cable knit with the yellow inside. This one is so freaking nice. This is the mushroom pattern with this super pretty like burnt orange terracotta on the inside lining. Um, they obviously all come with pee pads as well. And then we've got our moths have eyes pattern with the purple inside. We've got this really nice one, which actually kind of matches the moth have eyes pattern. Not sure what I'm going to call this, but this one is so stunning. I really, really, really like this. Then we have our olive bloom squish tunnel. Nice little green on green moment with some florals on it. And then we've also got our pastel tie dye. You guys are familiar with these patterns just because literally all of them have been made into pee pads and like other products. But I kind of wanted to do something different because I've actually never done fleece on the outside of squish tunnels. So I felt like it was a really nice change of design. And then here we have our black and white vintage roses pattern with the all black inside. Very beauty and the beast. And I think this one probably takes the cake for literally the best pattern. This is my custom pig room fabric that I showed you guys a couple videos ago. This is definitely going to sell out like very, very fast. It is so freaking cute. These are my own pigs, Willow, Ashton, Vision, Jojo, and Caroline down there. And then they've got all the fruits, veggies, and hay and flowers all around them with the yellow lining on the inside. Here is another one. This is the wood grain pattern. That's what I'm photographing right now. But yeah, this one's really nice as well with the matching light brown on the inside. So photos are done. I just got done doing some quick edits of all of them, just increasing the saturation. And then also like I wanted to get rid of that line in the back. So I just got rid of that. And also just kind of zooming in on the photos and getting rid of any like dust or lint, anything of that nature. But I just finished doing all of the single photos. So these are all the tunnels that I'm gonna be offering for my launch on Sunday. So I just got those all photographed and the orientation I need them for the website. Now what I have to do is actually edit these ones. So these are gonna be like cropped in to like here so I can actually zoom in and just show the pattern for the little bubbles on my website. And then I just quickly put together a graphic. So this was the before and then this is the after. So I just posted that to Instagram. I love stacking up my product in like a really cool geometric way. I feel like it just looks so nice. I'm always trying to think of ways to kind of do something a little bit different. So this is what I came up with for showing off the pig room, the official pig room squish tunnel pattern. Um, and then I also have some other ones right here. I also played around with like <laughs> some lighting. I won't use it, but I was just having fun with it. And then we also have all the squish tunnels, which are going to be launching on Sunday. So that is basically the process of editing and shooting website stuff. So it's really important that when I'm actually photographing the squish tunnels, you can see right here that they're all laid out in like a kind of like an angle way. So I have to stay consistent with that. I probably am going to get rid of like the photos where it's off to the side because I feel like these photos, it's like good enough. You can basically, you can see everything, the pattern, everything. Um, I just wanted to include this just as like extra detail. I'm going to see if I can actually by tonight make some more of like obviously the ones I've offered before, especially the cow print and the horoscope. Those are my most popular. So I'll try to do that. But yeah, that's a little behind the scenes of how this all goes down. So I'll chat with you guys later. Howdy you guys, I am back. It's actually been a couple days since I've last talked with you. I think the last clip that I filmed was my last launch. I've actually been pretty sick these last couple days. So on launch day, I was not up for filming, looking presentable. So I just went ahead and set up my camera for the live view so you guys saw that. But launch day was a huge success. All my patrons had early access to the website when it went live. And I honestly did not intend on this even happening, just given the fact that I've, I made so many squish tunnels. But literally, before I even could launch to the the public my patrons you guys like bought everything you sold me out 
they went so incredibly fast minus like maybe two tunnels yeah that was insane <laughs> literally everything went probably in less than 10 minutes which is crazy and I just feel like every single time I like make products I think like this is definitely going to be enough I'm definitely not gonna sell out you guys proved me wrong and we sell out and I'm just like damn I just need to make even more product than I think I should so I'm thinking for the next one I'm gonna make like double, triple the amount than what I'm thinking should be a good amount because y'all just show up every single time with my launches. With all that being said, I, as you guys can see me, just had some packages arrive. Um, I put up some custom aligners on my website, um, like last week, I believe. And some of you guys actually purchased them, which is really awesome. So I ordered the fleece, all the patterns that you guys ordered for that. I actually haven't made custom liners in quite some time. It's actually probably one of the most fun things in my opinion, just because seeing the end result and just having it be such a large, big product and something that I made and having in your guys' cages is so nice seeing. And liners are, if not one of the, in my opinion, most important products to have for guinea pigs if you're using fleece. Um, they make your, your life and cleanup so much easier compared to like if you're doing like towels and then fleece on top, liners are the way to go. So if you guys are interested in ordering liners from me, I promise I will be launching them soon on my website. I had to take it down just because because Joann's is going through this thing where they got rid of anti-pill fleece and now are only selling anti-pill plush which has not been on sale for, from what I've seen, like months and months and months. Um, it's only been blizzard fleece that has been, so I'm hoping that changes and it goes on sale soon. When it does happen, then I will be making fleece liners with anti-pill, um, but you guys only ordered blizzard fleece. So that's for the liners. Um, but before we get into this, because I have about four packages from Joann's, like massive boxes. I wanted to go ahead and actually show you guys my new business cards. So I wanted to come up with a way to obviously have a business card that was easy to read and has all of our important information on it, but at the same time looks really nice and even kind of like a work of art. So I decided that like, why don't I just make postcards that are business cards and just like mend the two. So that's exactly what I did. And I got these made. Um, this is actually a company that I've ordered from before and they've always produced like really nice stuff for me and I decided why not go through them again. I actually tried going through another company um, that I followed on Instagram for a while and I've seen their products being you know, produced by a lot of people for a long time and I was like, wow, their stuff looks amazing. I tried them out, they sent me back a digital proof and it was like, so incredibly screwed up like all the placements of the designs were like scaled down differently missing replaced it was a mess so i went through this company easy done got them looks amazing feels amazing is amazing i just wanted to show you guys what they look like so here they are right here i'm sorry if they're a little bit blown out there we go now you guys can see so here we have our new business card so it just says the pig room right here i think in the future i'm going to go ahead and lighten this brown color right here because i think it's a little bit too dark um and then also possibly make this text a little bit lighter, but we have our pig room right there. And then we have my slogan, which is keeping your pigs happy, safe, and healthy. And then I thought of a really cool idea with basically having like pigs designated to each word. So here we have happy, which is Willow with the heart. So she's very like happy. And then we have Caroline in her house, which is representing safe. And then we have Ashton surrounded by a bunch of veggies and fruit with the word healthy underneath him. So I feel like this kind of just wraps up the pig room perfectly. Well, we stand for what we value so i'm really happy with the way this turned out like this is like so nice and then on the opposite side you guys can see right here we have ezra i'm trying to actually introduce all of my pigs onto every single product of mine that i launch in the pig room so this was a way for me to bring in a new pig to a new product so we've got ezra here chilling on top of a nice little flower and then it just says thank you for ordering from the pig room it's got all of our information and then we've also got a qr code so if you guys actually hold up your phone to the QR code. I'm actually going to do it right now because I actually haven't tried it out myself. But if you do this and then click the link that pops up right there, let's put in my passcode, it will actually bring you to the pig room website. So you guys will be able to easily get to the website. It was just a little nice touch on it. I'm really happy with it. And then I also customized the QR code to actually match these leaves right here. So very pleased with this. Um, I do want to say I have another business card right here, but this is for a future project, which I can't say just yet. My patrons over on Patreon do know about it, but um, yeah, I'm not going to release it in this vlog just because it's pretty big news and 
I'm still working on a lot of things. It's probably not going to be coming out until the next two-ish, two and a half, three months. So I don't want to give away anything too much till like more is finalized, but just know exciting things are on the way. So let's go ahead and get into our Joann's packages. So this is just, I believe this is probably going to be one of our patterns, just in a small bag. So again, um, I put up custom liners and you guys ordered. So this is just all the fleece for those certain items. Ugh. All right, so this is actually just a plain purple color right here. Um, so this is going to be for the reverse side of one of the pattern fleeces that you guys chose. I believe this is for like a butterfly pattern that one of my customers chose. And then we've got this larger, longer box right here, which I'll open up. I can even do this with my hands. Oh my god, this one's a stunning one. But this is the most pretty pattern ever. I'm super excited for this. Really nice rainbow kind of like galaxy acid trip. I really like this. Very excited for this. I ordered eight yards of this. I think I only needed about two or three for the customer, but I was like, you know what? I need this for myself. So I went ahead and just got a bunch of this. Alrighty, and then moving into our bigger packages over here. We'll just take them out one by one. What is this? A blue color in Flintstone. So it's just this really nice kind of steel blue color right here. So that is for um, squish tunnels and cozy caves. And then we have also got our Moths Have Eyes pattern. Um, I have a lot of you guys who actually ordered stuff that I've done in the past. So someone actually requested this and I thankfully needed more of it. So I went ahead and actually ordered a full bolt of it. And then last in this box is this one right here, which is so incredibly pretty. Oh my god, perfect for Halloween. I'm actually going to be making my own liner in this print. It's super, super pretty. Um, and also making one for my friend Autumn. But here is just a white background with some pink stripes, blue stars, and then these goldish moons throughout. This is honestly like a perfect combination of very neutral, like stuff that I would go for in my everyday cages, plus with a little bit of a theme, like but like not too much. So I really, really, really like this one. Um, I believe that I actually had to order 10 yards. Yeah, so this is actually 10 yards. Which is weird because 8 and 10 look the same bolt wise, but yeah, there's 10 yards of that. And then we'll move on to our last box. Um, this one's actually for a future sponsorship. All right. Oh my goodness, that is a bright orange. <laughs> I think this is actually called like orange peel or something like that. Let's see. It is, yeah, very fitting. So we just got this solid orange right here. Um, I don't believe this is all the fleece that I ordered. I definitely have more coming because um, I'm missing a bunch of like pattern stuff for the liners. Um, so this is only some of it, but this is for the backside of a Halloween liner that someone ordered. So there is that. Uh, this was for myself, um, some plain yellow. And we've also got this lime green. And then last but not least, we've got this really pretty, like almost like dusty rose pink color. So. We are loaded up with fleece. We really are. I've got so much now. I will say what's nice about doing these custom liners is that I always, well, when I'm ordering them on the bolt, I always have some left over. So I just end up actually making and using that fleece into products. So it works out really well for me. Thankfully, you guys order cute patterns. So it makes my job even easier because I actually like introducing the patterns that you guys pick out on my shop. So. Very excited to go ahead and just introduce some new patterns to the shop. Alrighty guys, so we just got to the studio. So we are about to go ahead and pack some orders. I am just right now cutting out some twine to actually go ahead and roll these up and ship them off a little bit easier to you guys. I actually end up stripping these in some poly mailers, but I think in the future going forward, I may just get like boxes to actually slide this into that fit perfectly. So that way I don't have to roll these up. Um, they still arrive like perfectly fine. They just pop right up, but I feel like it would just be a lot easier and take up less time if I didn't have to like cut out this twine, all these little bits and pieces, and then roll it up, tie it. It's just kind of a process that I don't really enjoy. So gonna think about getting boxes very soon for these. And then I have to actually cut my business cards with this little nifty machine that I got off Amazon. Um, I'll actually show it off to you guys when I'm actually doing it. So it's probably gonna be about two or three hours that we'll be here. I'll set you guys up, we'll do a little time lapse, and I'll update you guys later.
Alrighty y'all, so that is the end of this week's video. I really hoped you guys enjoyed. I haven't been feeling great these last couple days and I feel like just today I've definitely started to feel better. I have a lot of work to do um, and I can definitely say that there's times when it's very hard to manage my business, um, especially when it's just like I have to get orders out and stuff made. Um, so I'm just like kind of pushing through, powering through, but thankfully I feel pretty good today. Um, I did want to do a cleaning video very soon with you guys, like an entire cage cleaning video with the deep cleaning of the actual pig room itself. But I'm gonna wait until I feel like 100% because that entire type of video takes a lot out of me. It's like physically, mentally draining. So I need to be like 100% for that. So yeah, expect to see that very, very soon. I do actually need to clean a lot of these cages as you guys can see behind me. They're not looking the best. I will be doing that off camera tonight. Um, I just wanna go ahead and just edit this video and get it up for you guys, and then also work on some orders. But hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every single week. And until then, I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy. Bye guys.